Hello and welcome to 360 Ministries and Prophetic Watchmen. The title of the message today is Spare the Rod hate and Hate a Man So. In the book of Proverbs 13:24, it says, He that spareth the rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chastiseth him betimes. This verse is speaking to parents, and we know this because the Bible says that if you love your child, that you will not withhold correction from them. But let's look at it another way. The Bible says that the Word of God is a rod of correction that will show us what we can, must do, what is right and what is wrong. And in today, there are many people that want to say that we're not to judge. And they quote Matthew 7.1. The Bible says in Matthew 7.1, to judge not lest you be judged. But so many people, they fail to realize that God has already given everything that pertains to His judgment in His Word. Why? Because He loves us. And He has given us ministers who will preach the truth to us. But so many today, they don't want to hear the Word of God. And they don't want to hear what a man of God has to say. And the reason why is because they want to do what they want to do. And they don't care what God has to say at all. But they don't realize that the great white throne judgment is coming up. And God has given the ministers His truth to be able to, to show that we must be born again. But there are so many pastors and so many ministers today that fail to realize that they must preach the whole counsel of the Word of God. They want to tell you little things that will make you feel good. They want to tickle your ears and they don't want to care what God has to say that you must be born again. And they fail to realize that these things are taking place in the world. And God tells us that if, if a pastor, if a minister does not tell you what the word of truth is, that your blood will be required on his hands. If a pastor cannot tell you that you must live righteous and holy, then he truly hates you. And according to this verse, it said that if you fail to give correction to your, to your children, then you truly hate them. If you spare the rod, you will hate your child. But if we spare the rod of God's word, we truly hate you. But I want to let you know today that we truly love you. And we're here today to tell you that you must be born again. John 3.16 says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That is the hope that we have that Jesus came into the world to redeem sinners. He came that we might have eternal life and have it more abundantly. And then we, we find how that we must be saved. According to the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 38 Peter said that you must repent and be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For this promise is given unto you and unto your children, as many as the Lord our God shall call. This is the truth today, that you must be saved. And if a man of God does not tell you what you must do to be born again, then he truly does not need to really be in the ministry at all to tell you that you must be saved. And... We, we want to share the gospel. We want to tell you that God loves you. And that no matter what you have done, no matter uh, how many times you've messed up, God wants to restore your life. God wants to heal you. God wants to deliver you from your sins. God wants to set you free from those bondages. You don't have to go out and get drunk. You don't have to live in a life of prostitution, a life of homosexuality. You don't have to live and do those things. Because Jesus Christ died on the cross that you can have eternal life and have it more abundantly. God loves you today and He wants you to be saved. And again, if we spare the rod of God's Word, then we truly don't care. But we're here today to tell you that God loves you. God wants you to be saved. God loves your soul so much that He sent His only begotten Son into the world. And I pray today as you listen to this message that you will hear the Word of God. That you will not hear what I have to say, but hear it as it comes from the Lord Himself. For God so loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son into the world to redeem you. 
He loves you today, and I pray that if you listen to this message, that you'll be born again.